Hey guys, so this is just going to be a what's in my travel toiletries bag. I recently went away for Christmas and New Year and I Instagrammed a picture of it before I went away and a few people messaged me on here saying they wanted a video. So this is basically what my travel bag looked like and I'm going to go through each item individually and show you what's in the bag. So I hope you had a happy new year and all videos will be back to normal as of Monday so keep watching. So guys I hope you had a really good new year and I'm just going to pull out about this electric bag and one by one and tell you where I got them and things. There is a lot of products and then I will show you where I got these bags from. All the links will be in the description below for the products and things and sites. So let's get started. First of all, I just have this. It is a Zoom And I have so many of these, it's unbelievable. Uh, these are, I think, £7. And yeah, it's just a shower puff. As I said, these are no particular order. So this is Dove's Maximum Protection. And that is just a roll on deodorant. I have a video on this if you want to see that. It's on my channel. And I think around £4 for this. Then I have a travel size soap and glory butter yourself. This is a super rich body cream and it is 50 millilitres from Boots or Soap and Glory Online and I think these are £2.50, £2.75, I can't remember. Next is my staple product. This is the Superdrug Nail Polish Remover Acetone. This is one twenty-five or two £2, sometimes when it's on offer. And this is just amazing. Uh, this is 250ml. I just use it with a cotton pad. A few more soap and glory products. There's quite a lot because I did do a big haul of theirs. Pulp Fiction Body Scrub, Endless Glove, and Phone Call. These are both parts of a, I think it's a gift set. I can't remember what it's called. I will link it in the description. I think it's something along the lines of a bubble box or bubbly box. And this is the fruity girl one, not the original. So individually these would be 250 each because the travel sizes. So that's those. Then I got a product I've been wanting for a long time and I finally managed to find one. It's this Boots Ole Regenerate 3 point super cleansing system. It's basically a cheap version of a Clarisonic. I am going to do a video on this if you guys want one. It's just an electric cleanser. And what I put on that is my Soap and Glory Peaches and Cream. This is a 3-in-1 deep purifying cleanser and obviously I don't do this every day because I'm really bad at remembering things so I probably do this once every 2 or 3 days and it just gets all the excess oil and things out of my skin and this is 200ml and I think this is 750 and it's got a nice little pump as well. Then my eye maker remover of choice. The Huggies Natural Care with Vitamin E and Aloe Vera Baby Wipes. I have the Huggy Pure as well but these are just open and these smell amazing and are very sensitive on my skin. Then I have my Boots Essentials 3 Minute Clay Mask. Just for when I want a bit more pampering and this was £1.50 from Boots itself so I'll link Boots and Soap and Glory and Super Drug down below. Then 
Then is the number 7 Beautiful Skin Rapid Spot Rescue. This is basically a jelly put on spots and it helps reduce them. This is a really expensive for a drugstore product. It's from Boots and it's £10.50, £10.90 when it's not on offer. But usually I get it when it's on offer, 3 for 2 or £1.03 or something like that. So that's from Boots. beauty related at all but for my camera I use the energizer rechargeable thing for my rechargeable batteries just looks like this and that's in there I have no idea why brush of choice is the tangle teaser again I'm not going to show you the other side because it's still full of hope ridiculous these are available from boots for I think it's 10 99 to 12 99 depending which one you get. Then I have a selection of lipsticks that I'm going to show you. So I'll move on to makeup now and I'm going to show you a few lipsticks first, or lip products. And all of these except one are Revlon. So I'll start with one that's not. This is So Pink Life Extreme Plump. This is Sexy Motherfucker. And this is 10 mils. and what shade is this in? Pink out loud and I know you won't be able to see that. That's what it is. That was £10.50 I think. Again I'll link boots and soap and glow down below. So you can check that out anyway, and I don't know if they do any other shades, I just wanted a neutral one. And moving on to other lip products. I have a lip gloss, this is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss, and this is in Berry Allure. Not that you shall be able to see that. And basically it's this colour. Quite matches my nail polish actually. And basically this is just a ridiculous applicator. The next one is Revlon again and it is the Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Liquid Lipstick. I thought this was a lip gloss. So I didn't mean to buy this one and this is in 06 Ultimate Orchid. And it looks like this. And again, it's a doe for applicator. Very pink. Uh, the lip gloss was 8.49, and this was, I think, the same. And it was a 3 for 2 on Revlon. So I didn't mean to pick those two products up. I actually went for two of these lipsticks. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in 477 Black Cherry and you can just see it at the top this is a nice dark colour looks almost black it's just a dark purpley colour and that was 749 from the same range I picked up three more colours I got a matte is 001 Nude Attitude like this again £7.49 then I got a 457 Wild Orchid is not quite as dark purple and it's got a pink shimmer to it and the last one I bought recently was 663 Baba Violet just looks like this again a dark purple I then have a Revlon 
last in the Episcopal Barmstead and this is in Cherish. Like this. Actually this might be Darling. Yeah this is Darling. Cherish is 15. This is like a violet-y pink colour. And two more makeup items are the last two makeup items. They're both mascaras. The first one is a Soap and Glory Thick and Fast Super Volume Mascara. This one I don't think has a colour or shade. Nope, doesn't have a shade, it's just black. So that's what that looks like. I'll show you the brush. A waterproof mascara which is collection 2000 longer last this is in waterproof brown slash black this has been in a few videos before that's what that brush looks like that was all the makeup I took with me and I will move back onto toiletry now okay so toothpaste I took was the McLean's white and shine and this is almost empty now um, but yeah, this is the toothpaste I've been using currently, and I always use a whitening toothpaste. There'll be a review of this soon when I get around to making one, because I've decided how I feel about this product. And that is, well, that was two for three pounds from Sainsbury's, but you get it. They were. Moving back onto, like, body products. There is an awful lot of soap and glory. This is the Righteous Butter in 200ml. And again this has been in videos before and I can't remember how much this is but it's on Boots website which will be linked below and soap and glory have their own as well. Then clean on me. I got this. This is the full size one. I don't have the travel one. So I just took the full size one and this is 500ml, it's a shower gel with body lotion built in and I use this for when I shave my legs, I put this on into like a conditioner or a shaving foam and it is so nourishing for that, so that's what I use that for. Then I also took the Soap and Glory Sugar Plush Fresh and Foamy Body Wash. This is with lime oil for skin softening and again 500 milliliters of the freshly squeezed lime fragrance and again this has a pump and I think this is 750 I'm not sure but again it's on the Boots website which is on the Soap and Glory website but this smells amazing this smells like lime and it is the most amazing thing ever so basically I put that on and then I follow it with righteous butter or butter yourself depending what mood I'm feeling in. So that's that. So this is the full one of butter yourself and I don't know why I took the full one and the travel size one but I just realised I did. So I used this one not the travel size one funnily enough. This is 500 milliliters. It's a moisture lotion. I use this after my lime body wash, and again it has a pump and it's full size one. This is the fruity dough fragrance. I'm not a huge fan of the fragrance. I'd rather the original, but I like the fact this is a, in a pump rather than a container like the righteous butter. I do prefer the pump because it's a lot easier to use. Another body product which also is so glory. The scrub of your life is the favourite or my favourite scrub body product of this month so far or last month technically since we're already in January. And this is 200ml 
don't know if they do a small print in this, but I don't have it. This is the best thing ever. I've done a video on this on my channel along with a few other Soap and Glory products. If you want to check them out, again from Boots and Soap and Glory Online. I have two mini travel size products. I have Helix Minius and Hand Food. These also have videos of their own on my channel. These are £2.50 for this one. Uh, but I don't think the Heal Genius comes in a travel size. I might be wrong, but one of these was part of a gift set and I don't think you can buy it separately. I don't know which one it was. I think it's this one. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they both come in travel sizes. But this is 50ml and the travel sizes are usually £2.50 for boots. And I love these two products. Moving on to hair products now. I have two with me and obviously I'll mention my shampoos and conditioners so I'll mention them first. I have the new solid shampoo bar by Lush uh, so I'll link Lush below and then I use the Herbal Essences Be Strong Honey range and I have the shampoo and the conditioner and then here I have the leave-in cream. I also have the hair mask and yeah I'll do a video on these as well but this I just spray in my damp hair after I've done the shower instead of it off hair oil and it's amazing and it smells great. So this is for damaged hair and this is around £4 from Boots with the silk and things like that. Then have a Batiste Dry Styling XXL Plumping Powder. This was sent to me a long time ago and a little goes a long way so this stuff lasts me forever. And I don't have much of the dry conditioner left neither, but I didn't take that. Oh, I've just remembered I forgot something else as well. Uh, this is basically a powder you put on your roots. Looks like that. And I'll show you the directions. So you basically sprinkle a little onto your roots and gently work it through with fingertips and style of desired. It adds volume to basically flat hair. I do like this. I am not a fan of most of these other products. I think I did a blog post on this. So my blog's always linked in the description anyway. And this is I think about six pounds from Boots. I might be wrong. So I'll link the tease down below as well. There's a few products I forgot. Uh, that's one hair. I'll talk about the Teeth Dry Shampoo. Tropical. Always take one of these away with me. This is the small size. It's not the smallest, but it's 150ml rather than 250ml. So it's the smaller one. So I like the Tropical. I like most of them, but this is my favourite. Between £1 and £4, depending on where you get it from. Boots, super good, online, easily available. I love it. Then I have a Boots Essential Eye Gel Cucumber, this was £1.58 from Boots and then a Nivea Lip Butter in Caramel Cream. This I've had for so long, it's just a lip balm and it smells really nice and I think this was £3 from Boots, I'm not sure now. I did take a few nail polishes with me, I just took the Barry M, the gold one that was the special last year and a blue one from number seven which was called Minty Fresh. The gold one didn't have a name because it was a special one. So that is all that was in my travel bag guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry for it being so long and I hope you have a great new year and videos will be back to normal as of next week. Okay guys, bye!